You are listening to Addressing Gettysburg. This is the wayside marker by the George Sears Green statue at the top of Culp's Hill. It's called Defense of Culp's Hill. And we begin with a quote from Brigadier General George S. Green, 3rd Brigade, 2nd Division, 12th Corps. As soon as we were in position, we began to entrench ourselves and throw up breastworks. On the morning of July 2nd, the task of defending the Union right flank on Culp's Hill fell to Brigadier General George S. Green. A civil engineer, Green built breastworks as high as five feet using logs, cordwood, stones, and earth. That evening, when several Union brigades on Culp's Hill were ordered south, Green's lone brigade of 1,400 New Yorkers manned the trenches. Moments seemed like hours of agony to a captain in the 149th New York. The pale faces, starting eyeballs, and nervous hands grasping loaded muskets told how terrible were those moments of suspense. Beginning at dusk, Confederates of Ewell's Corps stormed the breastworks repeatedly until after midnight, but with heavy losses and no success. At dawn on the 3rd, the bitter struggle for Culp's Hill resumed. Federal officers rotated the men in the trenches so they could replenish ammunition and clean muskets. Despite the valiant efforts of the Southerners, the Union line held firm. By midday, the Confederates had withdrawn. There's a photograph of Green, and underneath it says, At age 62, Brigadier General George S. Green was the oldest Union general at Gettysburg, but among the most able. According to a fellow officer, he was a grim old fighter, as modest as he was brave, gentle and courteous in his manner. Here on Culp's Hill, General Green applied the engineering skills he had taught at West Point in building a series of breastworks that the Confederates were unable to penetrate. His statue stands in front of you. And there's more stuff, but you've got to come and see it. 